Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Wii U controller, the Wii U Pro controller, to your Linux machine so you can use it on the PCSX2 emulator so you can basically play PlayStation 2 games on your Linux machine using the Wii U controller. Pretty cool stuff. So, let me show you the controller right now. You should be seeing the controller. So, you have to connect this via Bluetooth, so you need Bluetooth. Though there is a USB type A, not type A, USB mini USB port on the controller. Let me focus in. This is actually only for charging, it does not allow data connection. So, you are, you know, it's not a Linux issue, it's just the controller itself. So what you want to do is go to the Bluetooth settings. If you're running a different version of distro, feel free to go to it as you normally would. If you need any help with that, feel free to pop me a message. Okay, so what we want to do now is put this into sync mode. To do that, you press this red button and these lights will start flashing down here. If I press that, uh, that one there, the single press, as you can see, the controller popped up, click it, it will connect it and as you can see it's on number one mine flashing red because the battery is low so i'm hoping i can get the video done before the controller you know battery dies and yeah if yours takes a little bit of time to appear that's fine you know because i've already connected it it's a little faster than usual but just be patient so now you want to open up pcsx2 make sure this is closed when you sync it you want to open this up after syncing your controller and now we need to start mapping all the controls so make sure you've got this one selected with the Nintendo Wii Remote Pro controller and go to clear and now let's start mapping everything. Let's start on this side. And you can obviously map it in a different you know configuration that you, than you normally would because you know that's one of the benefits of this. You know it gives you that flexibility. After this video is done, I'm hoping I can, you know, do it without having to get the charging cable. Because again, you you know, you can charge it while it's synced. It's just, you know, you can't do it, you can't play it while you do have to sync it via Bluetooth. Um, but yeah, after this is done, I am gonna, going to sync this up. I mean, charge it for the next video. Okay, so that's all done. I think I need to do this as well. So let me do start and select okay there we go and this will probably be deselected for you also another thing your screen probably won't look like this it'll look a little bit better because i've zoomed in on the screen the scale factor is a bit messed up but yours should be fine if you click enable force feedback you may have heard that let me just do that again so it is actually you know you can actually use force feedback on some controllers you can't with pcsx2 but you can with this which is pretty cool now just select your game, I've got Tekken 4 selected. Go to, you know, full boot, fast boot, that's totally up to you. Okay, so let me turn the volume down and press X. So X meaning, you know, the PlayStation X and not this X on here. And now let me quickly get into a game and play it. Basically it is, you know, working now. That will be Marduk. Let me just defeat King and then we will end the video. Ooh, he thinks he can be defeat me, does he? There we go. And that is it. Got it, got the video completed before the battery ran out, so that's great. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message. And as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.